Hi everyone, uh, I wanted to uh, just hit something right quick so that you can get started with the My Accounting Lab. You will notice uh, I actually have three tabs uh, for My Accounting Lab. You have uh, how to access it. Uh, if you go here, you can see uh, basically a document that helps you set up your account in My IT Lab. Uh, and then uh, watch this video because it gives you some tips on how you navigate through it and how you find stuff. The next tab I have here is uh, just a reminder. There's nothing here. It's just letting you know that we're uh, Lanero's 41804. I know for a while there we had a different one, 04926, and I think, believe five of you actually registered uh, as 04926, or you linked to that one. Uh, I sent a note earlier about uh, you just need to uh, redo the work in 4184, or just let me know. I can migrate your work if you did a whole bunch of work in 04926. I wouldn't anticipate that you've done a whole lot of work in that since uh, the first deliverable is next week. The other is uh, the third tab, which is to enter My IT Lab. Uh, all the work that you do in My IT Lab this semester, please go through Blackboard. Okay. One of the great things about that is you won't ever have to remember, uh, because what I've done is I've linked My IT Lab to Blackboard, so you never have to know or put in your My IT Lab credentials. If you successfully log into Blackboard, all you have to do, uh, obviously it starts here in announcements when you come in, uh, or however you've configured it, just come down here to enter my IT lab and, and hit the very first. I won't read all these, these are pretty self-explanatory. You look at your grades, look at course content. Uh, majority of the time though, you'll be going into my IT lab course home. And what this does is it automatically puts you in the right course. You notice that I have ACCT, summer 2016 so you can see this is ours uh, and when you actually start doing work uh, like the video before said it just go to course materials and wait forever and I don't know this is kind of an instructor view but I believe it'll look similar for you and you just come down here and start doing the different chapters a uh, little quick tutorial here when you're doing the chapters notice that there is activities and student resources this is a uh, student resources is just uh, things to help you. You know, in other words, uh, you look at how-to videos on the topic that's being covered that week. So you can do that. Uh, oops, I went back too far. The other one is where you'll spend your focus, and that's on activities. You notice when you click on activities, you have simulation activities. Simulation is exactly kind of like the test uh, that you have. Notice not everything's assigned. I have this assigned, Project 1A, simulation exam, and Project uh, 1B simulation exam. So even though it seems like you're getting a lot uh, of stuff, you're not actually getting everything you potentially could be assigned. Uh, the other one is, uh, um, back up here, excuse me. Yeah, end of chapter activities. And you notice I have an end of chapter quiz set up. The reason I have that is because uh, Blackboard, uh, or excuse me, the uh, Excel certifying exam a lot of times will have uh, quizzes and stuff like that that you need to practice on. So it's a good idea uh, to at least get an idea of what it is that's involved from a, from a potential multiple choice perspective. That's all I wanted to show you. Uh, most important thing is, uh, is yeah, when you go into My IT Lab, don't please, the problem is if you start logging in independent of Blackboard, uh, then you start running the risk of running across the, the other one, the 04926. Uh, or just some other thing. The easiest way is you, that way you don't even have to remember your IT credentials, your My IT Lab credentials. Just come here to, to enter My IT Lab and then just go in through the very first uh, link. I hope you find this useful.